Hi, welcome back to another video presentation uh, brought to you by Stem Cell Malaysia. And this video is entitled Cost of Stem Cell Therapy. Okay, now stem cell therapy is not new in Malaysia, though many people only knew about it uh, until recent years. In fact, the Hospital of Ampang, uh, or rather the Hospital Ampang, has been providing clinical stem cell therapy since 2006. But the number of cases of stem cell therapy really only increased since uh, 2010. And most of the stem cell therapy um, done in Malaysia belong to what is known as a hemopoietic stem cell transplants. Now, hemopoietic stem cells, or simply HSCs, are basically stem cells capable of developing into all kinds of uh, blood cells. HSCs are probably the, the earliest uh, form of stem cells used in stem cell therapy. Now, in this article, we're going to summarize the uh, information uh, on the cost of stem cell therapy in Malaysia. Now, according to a press statement given by the Minister of Health Malaysia during the first stem cell congress, uh, which was held in November 2012, we have a video uh, summarizing the stem cell news uh, uh, on this particular stem cell congress. Basically, there are 11 uh, hemopoietic uh, stem uh, transplant centers in Malaysia. Now, according to the minister's um, report or the statement, not all cost of stem cell therapy are revealed in his report or statement. However, he stated that, I quote, in private hospitals, the cost of transplant allogenic PBS city ranges from 200,000 to 250,000 through Tabong Banduan Barubatan. The Ministry of Health is subsidizing HSCT done in university hospitals at 40,000 to 60,000 per transplant. Now, uh, allogenic PBSCD means peripheral blood stem cell transplantation using blood stem cells from another person. Uh, the allogenic refers to another person. Now, PBSCD is commonly used to replenish or to rebuild the blood cells um, in patients where the blood cells uh, killed uh, during chemotherapy. In other words, uh, PBSCD is used to rebuild back the uh, uh, blood cells of cancer patients uh, who had done chemotherapy. Now, as you can see, the cost of uh, stem cell therapy in Malaysia is extremely expensive, 200 to 250,000 uh, on average. Now, the um, uh, the, the, the high cost, you know, the, the extremely high cost is, is obviously beyond uh, the financial capability of most people. Even with the subsidization, you know, by the government, uh, the, the cost is still way beyond what normal, uh, what ordinary people can normally afford to pay. Now, because of, because of this, you know, uh, many patients are um, still untreated. And um, this is probably and not uh, only in Malaysia, it's probably uh, the reality in most countries, if not every country in the world. Now, uh, we often hear about the, the, the huge potential of stem cells in terms of uh, therapy for, particularly for incurable diseases, you know, how promising it is, you know, how hopeful it is. But when you look at the price of it, it essentially snatches away um, the hope for most people because it, um, um, how would these people are going to pay the kind of price, you know? And uh, I think the, the situation will likely uh, remain to be like that for some time or at least uh, for a long time, if not forever. Now, um, because of this, um, there is a gap in terms of or fulfilling the demand that exists for most of the people, you know, uh, hoping to, hoping for stem cell therapy to bring cure or healing to their conditions, particularly the ones that have been uh, 
incurable medically, or rather uh, they, they've gone through all the mainstream medical treatment and yet uh, their condition were not, um, uh, were not cured or healed. Now this, this gap itself uh, is, is, again, is not confined to or restricted to Malaysia's scenario. It's pretty well global. And um, when situation is like that, commercial organizations will definitely look for a way to provide uh, the solutions for this particular gap. And in fact, the commercial market of stem cells products um, implicitly, not explicitly, okay, offers stem cell therapy in the form of um, so-called non-medical options or as supplements and is often uh, offered in the form of food grade stem cells products okay now a basic cost in general a basic cause of treatment using this sort of uh, non-medical or typical food grade or supplement type of stem cell products um, costs only around 10,000 or less than 10,000 which is only a fraction of the um, cost of stem cell therapy in the medical world so um, the the thing that puzzles most people is many people who who undertook this type of so-called uh, food grade or you know stem cell products where you can um, check orally and many of them actually experience more than just um, healing or rather improvement of the original intended illness in other words okay they have this condition and someone recommended this particular stem cell products where they can consume orally and not only that particular illness improved and in fact most of them um, experienced a rejuvenation of their health and vitality and also healing of other ailments you know uh, or other conditions which they have been with them for a long time so this is what is what is what is the situation um, uh, in between I mean torn between the medical world as well as the non-medical market so as you can see the the, the, the that is the situation which will likely uh, continue uh, in the um, stem cell market or rather in the stem cell therapy market and we hope this video um, sort of open up your mind to what is available uh, uh, between uh, the two extremes world the medical world as well as the non-medical world in terms of stem cell therapy uh, we thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you like more details on this expect of stem cell therapy which is the cost of stem cell therapy please visit our site at stemcellmalaysia.com uh, thank you and we'll see you in the next video bye bye